its big topic and determine its general and specific purposes to organize the speech in a manner that best achieves those purposes. Also to ensure the beginning that the body and the community reinforce those purposes. Also to project sincerity and conviction and to control any nervousness that he may feel. And to strive not to use notes. The time is five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me to welcome Juan Lopez going to tell us how to fail our way to success. Juan <laughs> Lopez. Good afternoon, Toastmasters, Mr. Toastmaster and guests. How many of you have failed at something in the past? Show of hands, please. All right, so that's great. I wasn't expecting everybody to raise their hands. <laughs> so if you wouldn't have raised your hands, it would have obviously been that you would be embarrassed about it, being labeled a failure at some point in your life, because if I was out in the audience, I probably wouldn't have raised my hand, because I would be embarrassed of the situation, having been labeled a failure in the past. So, um, with today's topic, I'm going to be able to tell you guys from experience and share some points on how we're going to be able to turn failure and disappointment to inspiration for success. How can we do that? Failing can seem, failing can seem like a moot situation for many, but after hearing my speech, the audience will be able to use failure as an opportunity to reflect and instead of, being, instead of feeling defeated. Let's strive to feel better. The majority of us grow up in households where our perception of failure brings thoughts of negative feelings and disappointment. So global society has trained our minds to this self-destructive thought, and without us realizing the harm that can be potentially causing us or has caused us throughout our lifetime. Now, don't get me wrong, failure is painful. Failure does trigger a reaction in the brain, which is a, re and the, as a result becomes a risk adverse. Staying in your comfort zone can, can also become the norm due to the fear of failure and leading you to limited growth and worse, a regression in your, in your drive to succeed. I will now go over two focus areas to help us fail our way to success. Focus area number one will be to fail fast, reflect, and try again. Fail fast, reflect, and try again. So the key to turn this negative perception around is to view failure as progress rather than disappointment. That is correct, progress. Long-term success can be created from constant failures. Failure, failing is unavoidable, and every person can be better equipped to deal with the situations and handle the rejection more appropriately if we understand the best course of action when it is presented to ourselves. Fail fast means that when we do fail, we need to get our minds out of the gutter, away from the negative mindset immediately, not tomorrow, not after lunch, but immediately, right now. We cannot dwell on these failures, as doing so will cause more of the negativity to manifest itself in our reality. After this bounce back, we need to reflect on the failure. Could we have done anything different to produce the desired results? Maybe, or maybe not. But we will never know unless we start with an attempt. Recognize and appreciate yourself for even trying in, in the first place. Positively reinforce your efforts. Reflecting is also the art of re uh, reviewing the circumstance and from an unbiased, honest approach to make a decision on the appropriate follow-up action steps that you will need to show improvement and growth. So we then try again. The drive of never giving up and having a winner's attitude will allow us to drastically improve our, our odds of success. Try again. Try, try, try again. You will be successful. Now focus area number two will be reframing and reprogramming your mindset and perspective. Next time that you're sitting at your dining room table with your family and having dinner, try asking your spouse or your children, what did you fail at today? What did you fail at today? Sit back and observe and wait to see how they respond to your question. Most likely their jaw's gonna drop and they're gonna look at you as if they're seeing ghosts in front of them. And they're gonna ask you, come again, come again. So the key here is to provide positive reinforcement. Now this may seem wrong as to why we would support failure of our loved ones, but that is not the case because every failure comes with the seed of an equal opportunity for growth. View failure as an opportunity and never stop learning. If we perceive something as a liability, 
then that is exactly the message that we're going to deliver to our brain. And in turn, our brain is going to produce those results in our actual circumstances. So the key is to change the reference by viewing the situation from a different point of view and a new perspective and having a change in your mindset. In closing, I would like to leave you with a quote by Benjamin Franklin. I didn't fail the test. I just found a hundred ways that did not work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fail the test. I just found a hundred ways that did not work. So to recap what I've explained, the primary focus is to fail fast, reflect, and then try again. Analyze and learn from the experience and use it for personal growth. Never lose your sight, your drive, your passion to succeed. And the secondary focus is to refrain and reprogramming your mindset and perspective. So changing the thoughts of your mind and having a new perspective, perspective and a new outlook on that failure to turn into an opportunity for you to improve. Our views create the reality, so we, used to, we should practice this to our advantage. Next time you fail, don't be discouraged, upset, or irritated at the situation. Instead, be grateful for the experience and just know that you're that much closer to succeeding. Thank you.